Hi, this is a video update for BP Tracker version 1.3. I wanted to show you some of the features that are in the new version. Um, just for those that are new, uh, BP Tracker Free is a way that that when you go, like you take your blood pressure, you can record it and then later you can like send it to your doctor or, or um, yourself or something like that. So the way that you, um, when you first bring it up, um, it would be empty, but um, here I've got some fake readings that I put in um, just for the, the demo. But so you we, we press on uh, click to add, and here if you haven't made a choice, you have two different um, methods that you can enter your data. One is the original that's called edit readings, um, and it uses um, what's called a spinner in Android, and this spinner you can, you can uh, move it and choose things. So the, um, the, the, value that, the values that come up here um, used to be fixed values that were just there that, um, that I made up. And so um, we can discard this one and uh, we'll try adding again. And, and we'll use the alternate readings editor. In this one, you can type in your values. So in, in my case, because I don't have a keyboard here, um, it, it comes up with a keyboard so um, so I can also I'll discard that one also so here's what's changed um, oh yeah and then so we'll look at the menu and this was always there you could you can send your data and it sends it in a format that um, that can be uh, read like in a database or is also pretty easy to read the, the columns line up with the with the values here so and then the data menu, which was added a few versions ago, just lets you delete your history. I noticed that some of you were saying that um, your your database just got full, and so there's your way to clear it. And um, so finally, here's the new thing: is I've added a settings um, a settings page. So what this is is your um, this is the value that that you can choose for new records. And um, so let's say let's say that you know you you run you run more like you know 135 let's say who knows um, you can do the same for your diastolic value let's say your normal thing is 80 and so every time if you were using the the old way you would end up having to move those values or change those values but if you know what your normal is you can oops you can set it so. And then finally, you can do the same thing for your pulse. Okay, um, and then and then this is new also. This is the um, average values, and what this is is once you have some data in your once you, once you've collected some values, then then it can average them. And what will you, you'll see when you cr let's just put that on there because I have some data in there. So so now I say let's click uh, let's click to add, and um, when I click, I see that what's what these values are now is the averages. Um, now, if there were no, if there was no data in, at all in the application, the what's going to come up is the values that you set for your initial values, where I showed you there, we're setting the initial values, um, or you know the the little the, the the default values that have always been there. So if you don't set the initial values, they'll come up as those you know 120 over 70. So um, so we'll say we're done with that, and now we have our new record. And, and eventually, I, th I think if your blood pressure is pretty stable, you know, the average value will kind of, co you know, will kind of converge on, on where you're at. So hopefully that will, um, that was actually a request that I got a while back and, and, uh, hope, and I finally got around to fixing it. So. so thank you so much for listening and I hope this was helpful to you. Um, and thank you for using the app. And, um, and thank you so much. Bye-bye.